everybody. Um, this is my first attempt at a tutorial video, so if it gets a bit rocky, just bear with me. Hopefully I'll get better at this over time. Um, in this tutorial today, we're going to be building a very basic bare bones Django REST Framework API. And in this video, we'll just be setting up the project. Um, I assume that you have Homebrew installed, that you have Durand installed, and that you have pip installed, and that you're already familiar with setting up virtual environments. If uh, these are topics you're unfamiliar with, then hopefully in the future I can make another video that goes over these topics in more detail so you understand them. But for now, we're just going to set up a basic Django REST framework project using Django and PyCharm. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go into the directory where I want to make the project. I'm going to make a new directory. I'm going to call it Casino Locator. We're going to be creating just a very basic locating app so you can see how to use PostGIS in the future as well. I'm going to go ahead and CD into the project. From here I'm going to set up my virtual environment by typing this command, echo layout python 3.envrc and all this is doing is creating a .envrc file which will then set up your virtual environment using python 3. You might have to type dir at that at that point after you type in the echo layout python 3. Um, this time I didn't have to because I had recently done it so the permission was already given to me automatically. So now that we have our virtual environment, you can run pip list real quick and you can see which libraries are installed. As you can see, I need to upgrade my pip so I can do pip install, upgrade, pip. Okay, great. Now I'm just going to run through and install libraries that are required for this project. So just kind of run through them with me and uh, I'll try and explain the best I can as we go along. So the first one is Django. The next one after this is Django Extensions. And Django Extensions just adds some extra functionality that I'll show you a little bit later on. And we'll install Django REST Framework. Install Django cores headers. If you're familiar with cores, this will just help you make web requests. And finally, PSY, COP good too. I don't know how to pronounce this. Oops, I spelled it wrong. PSY, COP2. I'm not exactly sure what, what they're supposed to call this library. I always just call it SciCob good too. And that is just for basic Postgres, for a PostgreSQL database. So we we'll run through this. Uh, as soon as we're done with this, we'll set up our Django project. And uh, after that, okay, cool. So from here, we can set up our Django project by running Django admin start project, and then the name of your project. Ours is going to be called Casino Locator. And I'm just going to add this dot at the end, and all that's doing is creating the project inside this directory that we already created inside Casino Locator. And the reason for this is it helps make it easy to deploy to Heroku, which we'll be doing in a later video. Okay, cool. Now let's see that it was successfully created. Now we can use Python Manage to do all kinds of things. The first thing we're going to do with it is create an app by running Python manage start app. And this can't have the same name as Casino Locator, so we'll just call it Casino Finder. Okay, cool. Looks like we have our app and we have our basic Django project set up. So from here, we're going to type charm and just open PyCharm. If you don't have PyCharm, you can try it out for free for 30 days. 
So here we'll do create new project and make a Django project. And here we'll just choose the root. Casino locator. And you want to make sure it's in the same root where the managed file is. So for us, it's right here. And then from here, we need to add the interpreter. And the interpreter is just where our libraries are located. So we have installed all these libraries, Django extensions, Django REST framework. And the interpreter is just showing us where we can access these files. So we find the interpreter inside of our project, inside the durend, inside Python 3, inside the bin, and finally we scroll down to find Python 3.5. So that looks pretty good. And we do create. And it says create project from music sources. Yes, because we have those sources already. And we can look in here, if I find our app, find our settings file, and everything looks good. So in the next video, we will run through updating our settings file so that we can kick off the project. See you there.